<laughs> Oops, you can still see it there. Clean the snow off the tent. I don't think I've shown you guys the bathrooms here in the campground. And so, that's where we're going. Ah, here we go. Couple sinks. Here in the couple toilets. Yep. And guys, there's a heater in here. It doesn't keep it too warm, but it definitely feels warmer. Go into the middle and kick them. Kick all of them? Kick any of them. Kick a big one. Guys, I know it's been a long time since I've done a notification squad shout out. So today's notification squad shout out goes to Jolly. I like the cool little surfer guy emoji con on your notification squad. Thank you very much for being part of the notification squad. If you guys would possibly like to get a shout out on one of my next videos, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click that little bell icon and comment down below that you're part of the notification squad. And you might just get a shout out like Jolly. We were playing this game, Old Maid, and Sarah dropped a card in the fire. Beep. <laughs> Oops. You can still see it there. And um. Yeah, it's burning in there. And this is the card that the other pair for the card. And now we're gonna try to um, like what? What would you say? We're like, gonna try to throw it through the flames, but yeah. not into the fire. Yep. Okay, go. Your okay. turn. Your turn, Sether. Okay, ready? Cut the flame, Seth. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that went a little far. Oh. My turn. Hey, Mom should go first before you throw it in the fire. No, that's okay. <laughs> go ahead, sir. I dropped it. No. Cut the flames. Cut the flames. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh. Okay, so that's the end of that game. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> Sarah dropped another car in the fire. Check out the view. Wow. It is beautiful here. We are actually right now at um, Mammoth Hot Springs. That's right here up here is Mammoth Hot Springs. We're going to walk up this way and then walk up there somewhere. It's really cold and windy here. Whew. Oh, look what Elk just got up. Marty's cold, so he's doing push ups. <laughs> Good job, babe. And the kids are running because they're cold too. There's a lot of trails that go up into here. So that's where we're going right now. They got a big staircase made right here to hike up there. So we got some of the hot springs here. Kind of terraced all the way up. All right, so we hiked all the way up to the top. And this is the view. There's another freaking area over there. Yeah, we could have drove up there. <laughs> Come yeah, across. It was nice to get the exercise. Nice village down there. All right, guys, we made it back down. There is really a lot more to see up there than we showed you in the video. But um, it's cool. Come here, check it out. Walk up there, walk on all the trails, check out all the hot springs. Pretty neat. But uh, right now, we're going to head to someplace else. Not sure where. Come along for the journey. Look at the bison guys, they're just hanging out right here. Right among all these cars. And the babies are here too. We pulled off the main road onto this dirt road. It's a little bumpy, but there are tons of animals on this road, especially um, antelope, what is it called? Antelope. Pronghorn. Pronghorn, antelope. Lots and lots of buffalo. And we also got to see four black bears today, two cubs, and then two bigger ones. So this is cool. But check out these buffalo here on the side of this road. All of these bison are just chill on the side of the road. These two are like wrestling a little bit here. But the other guys are just hanging out, chill. That guy's out of here. Here's some bighorn sheep aptly named <laughs> this right here is gibbon waterfalls all right so a couple hours have passed or so and now we are 
up in a big hot springs area check out this one right here trying to get to a good angle where you can see it pretty blue pretty deep it looks like you can kind of see there's like a cave or a tunnel that goes down in there i'm thinking that if you want to come and see the hot springs uh, when you can see them really well would be to come when it's warm weather or hot weather because right now there's so much steam coming off of them because it's so cold out that um, you can't really see them very well. These ones right here are called the paint pots. Oh yeah, there you go. Bubbling mud. Right here is just a really loud steam vent. Maybe you can hear that. Look who I found. I found Sarah and Seth over there. Whoa, this is like boiling, boiling red something. I don't know, but that looks crazy hot. Yeah, look at that. These were not here until 1959. This was just all grass right here. And then there was an earthquake in Montana and poof, you got some boiling red mud pots. So from right here, you can see there's a bunch of different hot springs, even way over, you can't even see it in the camera, it's so far away. But there's ones way over there, and then there's a really big one right here, like a geyser, I guess. This is called Klepsizer? No. Klepsizer? Something? Klepsidra. Klepsidra? Klepsidra geyser. Klepsidra geyser. It's pretty cool, it goes up pretty high. It looks really hot. Lots of little ones all out there, and all over there and over there and over there. Looks like red face. Ooh, that's campfire face. This is our last night here in Yellowstone. Uh, we got our last campfire, we cooked our last hot dogs, had our last stew, and most of the snow is also gone. It's not raining or snowing, it's a beautiful night. So what was your, what, what was one of your favorite things about today? One of my favorite things was the fountain paint pots, like, it just like bubbled and like the sound was so satisfying. One of my favorite parts was getting to see the black bears. That was something I was really looking forward to, so that was pretty cool. And with the two cubs, I don't think we got any footage because they were so far away, but being able to see the cubs play, it was really fun. Yeah. I think it's the same for me. <laughs> and also seeing all the um, pronghorn ant uh, antelopes. Yeah. 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 Those were also really cool. All right guys, well it is almost 10 o'clock and as you can see, it is almost dark here behind me. Hope you have a really great day and keep smiling. <laughs>